caramel frappuccino. That's my addiction. And the reason why I'm making this video is not to talk about caramel frappuccino, but it's a good business lesson which I keep learning from Starbucks over and over again. So um, when I'm uh, with my son and I go to Starbucks to get my frappuccino on a daily basis, he, he's used to me having my name on, on the, um, what's called this, uh, on the bottle. And one day I go to him and um, my bottle doesn't have my name. And he's like, so where, where is your name? I'm like, oh, they just forgot to ask about it. Not a big deal for me, but for him is a big deal. So lesson number one for you is that if you deal with the young generation, it's crucial to personalize what you do because that's what they expect. See, Sebastian, my little son, who's only six years and a half, expects my frappuccino to have my name on. So um, make sure that you personalize your interaction with your clients, especially if you're dealing with the young generation. But there is something else. Then I thought, why was it so important for him and I didn't give a damn about my name being on the, on the bottle or not? Because I know this is just a marketing tactic that Starbucks uses very well to make people feel welcome and more special for them. Um, but for me, because it's every day, it doesn't really make a big difference. However, having your name called by somebody that apparently is a stranger to you in certain circumstances as a client makes a huge difference. So let me tell you what I'm thinking about. See, a few years ago in London, when I was uh, single and I was partying all the time, I invested in a private members club in Mayfair, which is the uh, most expensive um, district in the whole London. And I was proud of myself for being an invest investor in that club. I was proud of myself to being able to meet those people who were socializing in that place. But there is something else. All the investors were known by the bouncer at the entrance, which is probably nothing, doesn't make any difference to you. But to me at the time meant a lot because I was going on dates a lot, I was going out with my friends. Every time I was going into this place, the bouncer would say, hey Ozana, how are you? And you can imagine how I felt if it was a date or somebody I liked or even a group of friends that uh, how, did, how did I feel when the bouncer would greet me? Would greet me and not them, and would greet me with my name. That's the real cool personalization which you can apply in your business. If you enjoyed this video, if you've got something useful, please write the comments below how you're going to implement what I've shared with you in your own business. So click the, um, just write in the comments on, the, on this page what you liked about it and how you can use this in your own business. Thanks for watching.